Okay, the third problem is ASCL3. So arsenic is in the, if you look at the periodic table up, uh, is right here. Okay. So this is in the same thing as a fifth column. So what I will do is, okay, arsenic is five, and five is, these five electrons, uh, you have a three uh, chlorine the neighbors, so each chlorine needs a one electron, so three electrons, three bonds, like chlorine with this. So three electrons from the five valence shell electron from arsenic is, can be used, and the leftover is two electrons. This electron will paired up, and so therefore one lone pairs. Okay, so. We'll, as far as uh, electron group geometry is concerned, you have a one lone pair. <coughs> you have a one lone pair, and then you have three bonds. So that means a number four, total number of four, not number four, just a, there are four electron group geometries. And this is known as a tetrahedral geometry. Okay, so what's the tetrahedral geometry, uh, which is actually similar to the one that I shown you before, uh, P, B, R, three at above in the problem A. So I'm going to do looks like a pyramid, but the base of plane is triangle. So everything is symmetric with the four faces, and then. It's pretty much a similar deal. Arsen goes here, arsenic goes here, chlorine, 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 and the lone pair sits in the of, of one of the corners. Uh, and then this one is plane, this one from the bonds, this is moving away the plane, so people usually like to show it as arsenic with on the plane, out of the plane, moving away from the plane with chlorine, chlorine, chlorine with double bonds here and this structure is asymmetric so asymmetric means so you break the symmetry so that becomes a polar okay so asymmetric uh, and then the shape itself for this okay the tetrahedral geometry shape itself is we call the uh, trigonal Pyramidal. Okay, that's the name, and that structure we know is an asymmetric, so it should be polar.